My name is Michelle Palmieri Colatriano. I'm in my sixth year of teaching English as a second language, my third year here at La Dauversière. It's uh, very uh, pluro-ethnic. There are a lot, uh, I'd say maybe 85-90% of uh, North African uh, Middle Eastern uh, students, either newly arrived or relatively recently arrived. Uh, there's a lot of different languages already spoken in the school. French is not necessarily the first or the common language here. So today was the integration phase of a LES I've been working on. I adapted a text from uh, the MELS about bedbugs and I uh, elaborated it into a full LES. So uh, today we are going to finish our LES on bedbugs. Remember the bedbugs LES? Yes. yes. What do you know about bedbugs? Are they big? Are they small? Are they insects? Are they arachnids? Do they fly? Do they walk? Zachary? Mm, they not. They don't fly. Good. Shams? Very small. Uh, today was the reflection about what they have learned and what advice they would give to someone who is dealing with bedbugs. So I used it as a, a different way to talk about uh, what they've learned to verify their comprehension something other than just pencil and paper. That my room is more tidy to be, to be sure that they got are not going in my room. Also, I will wash more my clothes with hot water because the hot water will kill the bed bugs in my, in my clothes. Also, to avoid that bed bugs going to my clothes, I will avoid to put them in my bed or the ground to be sure that no bed bugs will go on my clothes. Yes, I'll be listening to the videos uh, to evaluate their uh, comprehension, C2. And it, um, it's nice to be able to see the student to match the face and the voice instead of just reading on uh, a paper. One thing I really enjoy about the recap program is you can check the progress of the students. So right now I have five out of 27 students who have completed the activity. It's a way to keep track of what's going on. And it also helps me because uh, not all the students have the best writing, let's say, and they're not all confident when they need to check their spelling or when they need to even just capitalizations is something they forget often. So I don't lose focus on those grammatical errors that would normally only be a C3 evaluation. I can really listen and see if they have understood. Express ourselves freely because we have the word in our mouth and we can tell them without to, to, uh, to, be, to be afraid of the conjugation, the orthograph. This is most, this is most interesting. I progressed with using Recap. I pared down the groups. I settled on groups of two groups of three because sometimes classes have an odd number of students and in their groups of two or three they're really able to focus on the questions, they're less distracted from voices of other students and they're able to quickly get on recap and start recording. Their uh, generation is more of an iPad technology generation so I think they're happy to work on something that they feel familiar with. A lot of their vocabulary comes from video games, iPads, so the fact that I didn't even have to explain what record was or got it or next, I think it made them feel more confident, which again boosted their motivation to work.